Are you able to solve this equation? The left hand side, a term about x, and the right hand side, 7 over 2. Hmm. The first thing that we noticed are the exponents. The high exponents, 7, 3, 6, and 4. And the highest exponent is 7. And the lowest exponent is 4. Hmm. So what should we do? Of course, our goal is to make these exponents be lower. So now, 3, 4, 6, 7. The number in the middle is 5. If we want to let the exponents be lower, then we should divide the numerator and the denominator by x to the power 5. Because 7 minus 5 is 2. 5 minus 3 is also 2. And 6 minus 5 is equal to 5 minus 4 is 1. So this is why we should divide the denominator and the numerator by x to the power 5. Welcome to join my channel and become a member. So now, x to the power 7 divided by x to the power 5, and then plus x to the power 3 divided by x to the power 5. Don't be so hurry. Step by step. And the denominator is x to the power 6 divided by x to the power 5, and then plus x to the power 4 divided by x to the power 5. This is our left hand side. After dividing by x to the power 5, it can be simplified further. Now we should use a formula. Which formula should we use? a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of 7 divided by x to the power of 5 is x to the power of 7 minus 5. That is x to the power of 2. And then plus x cubed divided by x to the power of 5 is x to the power of 3 minus 5. It is x to the power of negative 2. And what's x to the power of negative 2? a to the power of negative m is equal to 1 divided by a to the power of m. So this, x to the power of negative 2, it is 1 divided by x squared. And the denominator, same. Here is x, here is x to the power of negative 1. So it is 1 divided by x. Now, this is our new left hand side. The highest exponent is only 2, not 7. Hmm, very good. And then what should we do? Of course, this is 7 over 2. Our new problem is, what's the relationship between the numerator and the denominator? x to the power of 2, then plus 1 over x to the power of 2. And x plus 1 over x. We know that x plus 1 over x, and then squared, it is a plus b all squared, it is a squared, then plus b squared. 1 over x squared, it is 1 divided by x squared. And then plus 2 times a times b, 2 times their product. Their product is just 1. So then, plus 2. This guy, x squared, then plus 1 over x squared, is equal to x plus 1 over x, all squared, then minus 2. So substitute it into our new left hand side. The denominator is just the numerator squared, then minus 2. So, write it. x plus 1 over x 
all squared minus 2. And then divided by x plus 1 over x. Is 7 over 2. We all can see that x plus 1 over x, it appears on the numerator and on the denominator as well. So now, substitution. So x, then plus 1 over x, it is t. Now, pay attention. What's the range of t? Always positive? We have to prove. Look, x is positive. This equation holds, and t is also positive. And when x is equal to 0, you know that 0 cannot be denominator, so this equation cannot hold. When x is negative, when it is negative, then the denominator is positive, and the numerator is negative. A negative number divided by a positive number is always negative. It cannot be a positive number, 7 over 2. So x cannot be negative. Then t should be positive, since x can only be positive. t is positive, oh yeah! It turns to an equation about t. t squared minus 2, and then divided by t is 7 over 2. Cross multiplying. 2 times t squared, the minus 4, is equal to 7t. So this is a quadratic equation about t. That is 2t squared, then minus 7t, then minus 4, is 0. So then, solve this equation by factorization. Factorize it by using the cross rule. 1 times 2 is 2, and negative 4 can be factorized into negative 4 then times 1. And then, by cross multiplying and then add them together, it is 1 times 1 is 1, then minus 2 times 4, it is negative 7. So negative 7 is just the coefficient in front of t. So this factorizing is correct. t minus 4, and then times 2t plus 1 is equal to 0. The left-hand side, a product. The right-hand side, 0. So now, how many cases do we have? 2. The first case, when t is equal to 4. t minus 4 is 0. Of course, t is 4. t is equal to 4, then what's the value of x? Since x then plus 1 over x, it is t, and t is equal to 4. So then, multiply by x on the both sides, and you can get mm, x squared minus 4x, and then plus 1 is 0. Quadratic formula. Use it. And you can get the only two real solutions of this equation. x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 3. Of course, we also have our second case. Hmm, we know that t is positive. But 2t plus 1 is 0. That means t is negative 1 divided by 2. It is negative. So, there aren't any solutions. There aren't any real solutions. The only two real solutions. Do you get them? And don't forget to give a thumbs up. Welcome to join my channel and become a member. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.